Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows on we have a raised to power m plus n. The same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. But this here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 squared equals to 30 on this side. And this yeah, the same thing as 4 is to power x times 4 squared 4 times 4 plus 16 then equals to 30 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 16. But this divide this side by 16. Also divide this side by 16. Here we have 16 cancelled each other. Then we are left with 4 is to power x, which is equals to 30 over 16. The next step here, we have 4 raised to power x equals to, this can be written as 2 times 15, then over 2 times 8. Then here, 2 cancel each other. We are left with 4 raised to power x equals to 15 over 8. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is here we have log. 4 is to power x equals to log 15 over 8 here. That is, here we apply the power of log here. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log. 15 over 8. Then, next step here, we divide both side by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. Which implies here, log 4 cancel each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 15 mm -hmm. over 8 divided by log 4. Then from here, this follows the log logarithm. When we have log a over b, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. That is, here this becomes x equals to log 15 minus log 8 over log 4. Then next step here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 15 over log 4 minus log 8 over log 4. Then, next step here, we can still write 15 as 3 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 5 over log 4 minus log 8 over log 4. Then from here, this follows from the log logarithm. When we have log a times b, this can be written as log a plus log b. At this here we have x equals to log 3 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 8 over log 4. Then Next step here, yeah, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 8 over log 4. That is here yeah, now we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, and also 8 
us two times two times two, which is two cube. Then we have x equals to log three over log two square plus log five over log two square minus log three cube log two cube other over log two squared that is this becomes x equals to log three over here we apply the power log two comes here and we have two log two then plus also here we have log five over two log two then minus here we have three log two over two log two that is here log two cancel each other we have three over two left and also here we can write that x equals to one over two multiplied by log three over log two then plus also one over two multiplied by log five over log two then minus here we have three over two left that is when we apply change of base but when we have log a over log b which is same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to one over two log three base two then plus one over two log five base two minus three over two then next step here we can bring this together as one fraction now we have x equals to the SCM here that's two and here we have log three base two then plus log five is two minus 3a that is the value of x here we have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3 all over 2 that is what we have becomes 4 raised to power log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3 all over 2 then we have plus 2 here is it equals to 30 on this side then from what we have here we can bring this part together as well. This is 2 over 1. And then see MOP that's 2. That is, we have 4 raised to power 2 as the SCM. Then we still have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3. Then plus, here we have 4 now. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then, Next day we have 4 raised to power log. Of course, we can write this first. 4 minus 3, that's 1. We can see that's raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2, then plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Then is it equals to 30 on this side? Then here, next step, 4 can be expressed as 2 square. Which is raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Then is it equals to 30 here? Then from what we have, this power multiplies and 2 here cancel each other. And this becomes 2 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. Then is it equals to 30 on this side? Then we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m 
this a raised to the power n. As this here, we have 2 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 30 here? Then 2 raised to the power 1 that's 2 times here follows that we have a raised to the power log p base a, which is equals to b. That is here, this is 3, then times 5. Is it equals to 30 on this side? And 2 times 3, that's 6. Then times 5, that's 30, which is equals to 30 here. Then we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn your description bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.